Yeah, what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. I am here with the man, the myth, the legend, Peanuts. Yeah. We got both the sharks in the back right here. Um, kind of want to make a discussion talking about um, different type of tea bars. And I think um, coming up, I think with the top three best looking and best tea bars set up at the moment for road glides, it's a pretty good discussion. Being that we have some performance baggerish. Performance look. Performance looking. look baggers. Looking. Performance look looking bagger. So our performance looking baggers, and um, I got my T-bar set up with my uh, gauge relocating system. Um, he has a different setup on his bike, but we're gonna talk about what he's gonna get into soon. Um, but yeah, I wanna talk about the top three best gauge relocating system you can get for your road glide. Um, I think we can start talking with mine first since it's here. And yeah. here we got some footage. So let's talk about the uh, Arlen S method back, uh, method pullback risers. Um, the ones I have on mine are eight inch. Um, and then it relocates the gauge to the top of the clamp right on top. So it's literally right in your face, very, very visible. Um, Look-wise, it looks great. Uh, the, the riser as well has a real nice design. Um, great feel, uh, great clarity right in front of you. And then you have options to put in any type of bar you want. So on mine, I actually have a thrashing chrome bar uh, low bend. Um, I said it before, like I wish I would've got a high bend bar, but I'm, I might be changing that out regardless but that's my setup right there. I didn't go ahead and get the triple tree, the top triple tree, um, cause I, I kind of didn't need it due to the fact that um, I kind of kept the stock look in the bottom and I don't really have anything exposed. Um, it's different when you kind of do a crowd setup or I want to talk about the thrashing supply setup that they just came out, which is amazing. Very nice setup. Um, but yeah, what, what do you think about the uh, Arlen S? Honestly, it's the first time I saw it was on your bike. Uh, I kind of say for a rider, like myself, it was very comfortable. Design was very nice. Um, and again, what I love about the T-bar setup, it's very flexible as far as figuring out a perfect um, bar or setup for yourself. You can go with the high bend bar, low bend, yeah. mid bend, and give yourself different options to find that perfect setup. Because I know I've struggled finding the right bar for me, so. Yeah, it's, it's, it takes time. Even I remember before I ordered mine, like I just, I did a ton of research and I tried to find out exactly what looked good. Because number one, it needs to look good. Number two, it needs to feel good as well. Um, it, it, it all falls into place. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm happy with the, the setup I have so far. I think it looks really good. Um, and it was, I kind of took a... Uh, a leap of faith because when they came out with that design I was like kind of one of the first ones who bought it and I was like well I hope everything turns out right um, on YouTube I didn't I didn't see anyone with it uh, they only they were the only ones who had it and then I saw some kid on Instagram who had it right I had placed my order then it was it was coming in and some kid guided it before I did and he had it on Instagram and I actually hit him up asking for information like hey how do you like it so far does it look good in person send me more pictures meanwhile mine was like still coming in um, but I've had it, what, not even a year yet, I think, I'm not sure, but it's, it's, it's good, it's comfortable, it looks great, um, and I'm, I'm happy I went with it, I'm just, I'm gonna change out my bar, like I said, I want like, it just, the, the high bend bar just looks better, it's just, and it's even for comfort, because I think comfort wise is good, it's just looks wise, I just want that, Again, you know? that's, that's why I do love the T-bar setup again, because now, you can make those minor adjustments that's going to give you a more comfortable ride after you ride it for a couple miles because to be honest you could sit on a bike you could ride it for a little bit until you actually put miles on the bars is when you really start seeing the fatigue yeah you know i, I battle with fatigue in my hands and my forearms and that's why I because well, you're, you're always tired <laughs> <laughs> so, well that's another conversation. <laughs> but, is that um, why you, you always drink at Starbucks? Yeah, keep me awake. And that, uh, that's that's why we all need a performance cup holder on our uh, on our bikes, guys. You gotta stay hydrated, man. But uh, but yeah, again, the flexibility, changing the bars now. Now you can get different angles on the on the bends, on the pullback, so you can find that perfect position. So yeah, talking about that, I'm, I'm happy you just went right into the bend of the bar and everything like that. Because I want to talk about the, the new thrash supply setup. Uh, obviously, thrashing is super, super popular. Um, their risers, 
<clears throat> design just beautiful. I had I had their their visor set up on my Dyna uh, in Chrome and absolutely loved it. But they recently came out with the relocating gauge uh, that's similar to the crowd setup, um, but it, it total just different in its own different way design wise, um, and it looks really really good. So good to the point that when it came out, I texted and I was like, I, I think I might want to change out my Arlen S for this because it just it, it looked that good. That's that's the part that sucks is even when you find the perfect bar, and you see something else like Thrashing's part that comes out. Your curiosity starts building up, and you're like, "I like that too, though." Yeah, yeah. So you know, that, even when you find the perfect bar, you're still gonna end up buying other ones. Yeah. The the thing with them is they also have a lot of different uh, options too. So they're all blacked out, and then they got the all chromed out. Obviously, I would go with something chrome. But even even just the uh, the piece where the gauges go, the design of it is so so. As a matter of fact, let me just show you right now. Now that I have you right here, not in very my familiar. Face. You know a little yeah. bit than I do. Yeah, so oh wow! So in the back of it is like a carbon type of material. It looks like it looks like it's carbon. So that's, that's a, a really nice design. Yeah, and then the black one. Now are they adjustable as well? Can you adjust the faceplate? Yes. So it comes with the with the with the with the riser gauge relocating bracket. You can flip it and it just same thing, just like the cross setup. So then I just show you the cross setup right here, next to it. Um, similar to the cross setup. But like I said, it's they, they, they all have little tweaks. They added their own taste. Yeah, to it. they have their own little taste to it. And um, me personally, I like the thrashing. Like that, that chrome one's really nice. Yeah, that's nice right. Of, yeah. Chrome's going back. Yes, it is. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I, I, I honestly really, really, really like the thrashing setup, man. Thrashing, if you're listening out there, I love your products. <laughs> yeah, as far as the top tree, I know that's a whole other conversation, but. So, they they also make their own top tree. Yeah. Their own triple tree on top. Clean all that up in there. They have everything. So they, they same thing that you would think that well the same thing you see crowds doing with the triple tree and and the riser and then the clamps and the uh, just everything that they have all the similar parts just with their own taste to it. Um, but yeah, it's, I, I think they really, they did a really really good job with that. So um, I think that I would put it in number two right there, um, and then. Talking about bend, thrashing makes so many different type of bars. Low bend, mid bend, high bend, and different uh, bends as far as you know where, where your hands will be placed, which is pretty awesome. So that falls into the what you were talking about before when comfort wise, where if you don't like, you can have your your T bar set up, and if you don't like the way your 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 bar is set up or how low or high it is, you can change that easily. And like one of our last videos that I you know, one of the last videos I did with you, I, I brought it up slightly about Thrashing's demo video on how to find that perfect yeah, bar. Yeah, really good video. Again, I'm telling everybody, if you guys can go watch that video, it helps you a lot when choosing the right bar for your T-bar setup, so. Yeah, really good. Um, so yeah, Thrashing, put your number two right there. Um, I think number one, we, we just, we'll talk about Kraus, because I think Kraus just, I think, has been on top of the game um, in the past few years when it comes to the T-bar uh, setup. I've seen Kraus T-bar setups on street glides, road glides, and obviously other bikes, but I mean, we're talking about performance baggers right now. Um, <clears throat> performance bagger look. Um, but their, their gauge relocated system has, has probably... Uh, it's has, taken the Harley performance bagger by storm. Yeah, yeah, and obviously we have other companies that were, who want to make something similar to what they're making, because obviously what they're making is obviously hitting the nail in the right place. Um, Design-wise, it's great. I've heard nothing but great things about Kraus uh, as far as materials and everything like that, and finishes, everything is just really, really, really cool. Um, it, it looks great. Honestly, that's that's what I really wanted to go with at first. Uh, my bike, and I'll be honest with you, I didn't go that route because I just didn't want to, Kraus is expensive, man. Yeah. It's really, really expensive. So compared to my Arlen S setup, it was maybe half of the price at that, if anything. Less than half, maybe. So the, that, that's one of the reasons why I actually went with my Arlen and because yeah. it, it looked really cool, it was new to the market, and it was way, way cheaper, and then it kind of gave me the setup that I was looking for. But, uh, I mean, Kraus, we'll put Kraus at number one, but it's, to me, I, it's, I'm not gonna say it's overpriced, but it's really expensive. Yeah, for some people, you know, price matters, budget matters, other people don't care as long as the styling that they yeah, want, yeah, yeah. you know, so you have to kind of factor out what you're looking for, but to me, those are the three best options. 
overall i mean me personally i have some other honorable mentions that <clears throat> yeah would, we're, we're, we're gonna talk about the the honorable mentions right now and then we're also gonna dive into uh, a t-bar setup type of feel that you can have without you know relocating your gauges because relocating your gauges comes with a lot of stuff it's more expensive um you're relocating so you're gonna buy extra parts hence more expensive and just just more it's more technical when it comes to that um but let's have some let's have one honorable mention for a t-bar setup with a gauge relocating i didn't want to say it out loud because i kind of wanted to do them over the winter but it's all right so i came across this company um they're out of italy uh, his name is Vidi's design I fell in love with that look um really they cool. just have a whole different style uh, i see in italy they're making a lot of parts for harleys and they just have their own taste uh, when it comes to creating and designing whether it's t-bars floorboards uh, air cleaners they just it's just a different touch and what's cool about Vidi's. If you go on their Instagram page or on their uh, website, everything is adjustable and it's adjustable to the front, to the back, mm -hmm. you know, and, and to me that's very important. Being a shorter rider, I want to make sure not only are my bars comfortable, but I have the clearance and the view over the gauge relocation kit, so. Is that the most important thing to you? Or is it the fact that they also come in purple? <laughs> That's true. Also, they come in raw too, so if you want to get them colored yeah. on your own. They, they, they come in a lot of different colors. So, I mean, the one you sent me obviously were purple because this guy's crazy about purple. Purple, purple rain. rain. Gold, I seen. Yeah, from the like gold uh, finish. From what I remember, it's gold, red, black, purple. And like a raw aluminum. I'll take that one. Uh, raw, or uh, he could actually send you. The raw ones, you can get it either powder coated or. So you do chrome. Chrome. I think there's chrome too. Mm, that'd be, that'd be pretty cool. You could also get the hardware, I think, in different colors as well. Nice. You can mix and match the face plates, the hardware, and create your own design while you're at it. So, I mean, I like where they're going with their stuff at Video's Design. It looks really good. Uh, when we saw me the picture, I was like, fire. Really, really good. Um, so, yeah, that, that's the uh, honorable mention. Um, we'll now talk about. Uh, the T-bar setup that you can have on your bike, which you have, we'll show a clip right here of what your bike looks like. Um, so a T-bar setup that you don't have to relocate your gauges to. Um, what are the ones you have on your bike? Uh, the ones I'm using now is uh, Santoro slash Vindica Hoop Tees Bar. Uh, it basically gives you the uh, feeling of a T-bar without being a T-bar, so it's not your traditional ape hanger. Yeah. Um, they make it in a style where it's narrow and gives you a more T-bar feel. And like he was just saying, you don't have to go, because the T-bar setup isn't a, a quick, you know, throw on part, <coughs> as you know. No. There's a lot of little things that need to be adjusted and changed and uh, to make everything, if you want to do it right with the wiring. The wiring and everything, that's what so, kind of takes most of the time. Yeah, so, you know, the, the hoop these bar, from Santoro and Vindica, uh, you know, it's a really good option for people who don't either want to do the T-bar setup, but they want the feel, or they just can't afford it right now. It's just another option. It's a cheaper option to get that T-bar Th feel. Those are around how much? Uh, just under 500. I think it was like. Four, That's not bad. Around like 400. Four, yeah, like 450, 500 around there. So the finish is great on it. Um, it's a really nice bar. They've been out for a little while now, so there's. Yeah. Uh, Lee Choppers makes a nice one too. Yeah. Like Sal's, right? Sal, Sal, Sal has alley choppers on his. Those, those, those are amazing. So, so that bar, uh, my boy Dio, Dio was probably one of the first ones in the whole country who had that bar set up in the whole country. Whole, whole country. In the whole country. Not just New Jersey. No, no he's in New York. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, really. So when, when they come out with design, he was one of the first ones to buy that a few, a few years back ago. And I remember at first when he installed them, everyone was like, ah. it was like, it was either you hate it or you loved it. Yeah. You know, at first it, it kind of took me by surprise. I'm like. I don't know if I like them or not, so I'm not gonna say if I do or don't. But after a while, you start looking at them, it's like, they're, they're actually really nice. And then, you know, they, they the way they're bent in and everything, you still have uh, access to your gauges if you wanna look at them, and obviously your 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 screen as well. So it doesn't take away from anything. And it's very comfortable. Yeah, yeah. Really, really comfortable. When it's adjustable, you can bring it forward, push it uh, back, whatever. Um, BMC makes a, a one that that's also really nice. Uh, these bars are all pretty similar when it comes to the whole T-bar setup. Yeah. It's just slightly bends that kind of makes them different. Um, so BMC, uh, 
Ali Choppers and um, Santoro and a few other companies out there who make them, but it's a lot of a lot a lot of options. Even Harley makes their own. Um, yeah, like a chisel bar. Yeah, it's like a chisel bar. Has. It, th th those are kind of like more of a the short. Yeah, ape hanger. Yeah, it's more of an ape hanger type of thing, but it's, it has a T bar feel type of thing. But it's not yeah, the it's not the same. It's not the, not the same. same. No, not the same. Um, so th those are some options right there. If you guys want to, you know, save money or if you want to go that route, or if you don't, not even save money, but some people just don't want to deal with relocating the gauges and deal with all that stuff. Um, you can go that route. Um, but yeah, I think uh, there's tons and tons of options. And I don't know. I, I think the 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 T bar market right now is getting flooded with too many, too many, yeah, too many options. I was like, all right, well, it, it's it's to the point where there's all these other companies that are making them, and it's like, eh, you should have had made that because it's just not. They don't look good. No, they don't. Or it just. Or it looks like a stop. complete knockoff of something else. And if at that point, I'd rather get the original. And, yeah, exactly. And go with somebody like exactly. the Kraus or Arlenas that. I have years of experience and research and development to, to yeah. come out with a bar like that. Yeah, yeah, big time. Um, so tons of options. I'm um, going to be linking the websites to some of the ones that we mentioned down below so you guys can check them out. Um, and if you guys are rocking a different part, a uh, different setup that we didn't mention here, I'm eager to see what you have on your bike. And um, I want to hear your feedback on that as well. Anything else from me? No. That's pretty much it. Now that I'm ahead. <laughs> That's gonna be it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Marvel Kid. This is my boy Peanuts. I, I, I need to come out with a with an outro, with an outro I, I, for you or something. Yeah, I don't know. It's like uh, I haven't found it yet. I don't know. I'll find out. That goes, guys. Let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace. I'm scared. That's good. You did what? You ready for the sit down? Performance bagger with Eddie. You ready for the sit down? Eddie. You're the boss and I'm gonna be the other boss. Nah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that gives you the target. <laughs>